हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज आग्नांथा कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो वॉट इज एग्नांथा एग्नांथा मीन्स विदाउट जॉस इज अ जॉलेस फिश इट्स सुपर क्लास इज फाइलम कॉडेटा सॉफ्ट फाइलम इज वॉटिव्रेटा दैट इंक्लूड्स बोथ लिविंग साइक्लोस्टोम्स एंड एक्सटीन्स कोनोडॉन्स एंड ऑस्ट्राकोडॉम स्पेसीज द ग्रुप रिलेटेड to all the vertebrates with jaws which are referred to as gnathostomes recent molecular evidence both from our rna and mt dna as well as embryological data support the notion that the cyclostomes or live agnathans are monophyletic the first fossil agnathans emerged in the cambrian period and two families of agnathans still exist today are lampreys and hackfish with a total of around 120 species because hackfish lost vertebrae secondarily they are classified as members of the soft phylum vertebrata before this event was inferred from molecular and developmental data lena mos created the group craniata which is still sometimes used as a strictly morphological descriptor to refer to hackfish plus vertebrates while some scientists believe that the living agnathans are only superficially related and that many of these similarities are likely shared basal agnantha characteristics of ancient vertebrates so recent taxonomic studies clearly show that hackfish and lampreys are more closely related okay to each other than either is to jawed fishes morphology Aside from the lack of jaws, contemporary agnathans are distinguished by the absence of paired fins, the existence of a notochord in both larvae and adults, the presence of seven or more paired gill pouches, then the lampreys have a penile eye that is sensitive to light, homologous to the penile gland in mammals. all agnantha both alive and extinct lack a recognizable stomach and appendages both fertilization and development are external processes in the agnantha class there is no parental supervision the agnantha are ectothermic or cold blooded having a cartilaginous skeleton and two chambered heart appendages almost all agnathans including all extant agnathans lack paired appendages however the majority have a dorsal or caudal fin some ancient agnathans such as osteostracans and puteoaspids did have paired fins which their jawed relatives inherited okay reproduction the lampreys are fertilized externally the mode of fertilization in hackfish is unknown external development in most likely occurring in both groups there is no evidence of parental care the reproductive mechanism of the hackfish is poorly understood hackfish are thought to lay just 30 eggs throughout their lifespan the majority of species are hermaphrodites there is relatively little of the lampreys larval stage present lampreys can only reproduce once the lampreys stay open after external fertilization allowing your fungus or uh, fungus to enter their intestines and kill them lampreys reproduce in fresh water river by building a nest in pairs and burying their eggs about an inch 
beneath the substrate before becoming adults the hatching go through four years of larval growth